The Telegraph did some great investigative reporting on Donald Trump's campaign, and oh boy, do they have a doozy for us today. Uh, so they explain here, senior figures involved with the Great America PAC, one of the leading independent groups organizing television ads and grassroots support for Donald Trump, sought to channel $2 million from a Chinese donor into the campaign to elect the billionaire despite laws prohibiting donations from foreigners. Okay, this is something he has specifically hit Hillary Clinton for with the Clinton Foundation and taking foreign money uh, from donors. So let's take a look at the video here. You're going to see somebody named Eric Beach. This is the PAC's co-chair. And you're going to see somebody named Jesse Benton. This is somebody who's a consultant working for Trump's PAC here who already had gone to jail for violating some of the few remaining campaign finance laws we have. Let's check it out. probably send uh, I'll send money from my from my company yes oh right okay I'm just thinking also about logistics how this would actually work that that is the that is the 501c4 mm -hmm. that the money's going to go into yeah correct yeah and that's through your company yeah well, that's correct how much do you think you can pass on to the super pack because I think that's what I'm going to get asked all of it all of it okay right. fine that it's going to get used for on the ground grassroots stuff or it's going to get used for TV or it could be a mixture? It's a mixture. It will, it will definitely allow us to spend two million more dollars on, on on digital and television advertising from Mr. Trump. Right, and that'll be spent by the Super PAC? Yes, it will be. Okay, fine. We shouldn't put any of this on paper. No. no. It's not like he's asking for anything directly, but he just wants to know that he won't just be treated as a another. What do you think? It'll do that. Yeah. And uh, we, we can have that whispered into Mr. Trump's ear whenever your client feels it's appropriate. So let me just say first and foremost here, thanks, Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court, for those of you who don't know, decided in, you know, a plethora of court cases uh, over the years, starting in the late 1970s, that money equals free speech. And they eventually got to the point with McCutcheon and Citizens United with those decisions where they said uh, super PACs can spend unlimited amounts of money uh, on... Uh, political campaigns and on the political process because they argue they're independent. What do you mean? The super PAC isn't directly run by Donald Trump. So since it's not directly run by Donald Trump, it's people who are not affiliated with him and they're not allowed to coordinate even though all of them do. Uh, so they're not allowed to coordinate so it's not corruption. So it's just people spending money because they agree with the philosophy of one of the candidates. <laughs> so if a donor comes in and wants to give $2 million to a super PAC, they're not asking for any favors. Except they are. And as you can see here, it actually is illegal for foreign money to go into the super PAC. 
So that's what happened. We have a Chinese donor who's really an investigative reporter for the Telegraph going in there. These are people representing this Chinese donor uh, to give $2 million to the super PAC. And what do they say? They go, look, I'm not saying he wants any special favors, but what I am saying is he'd like to, my client would like to know that he's not going to be treated like any other person, if you know what I'm saying. And what's the response? Uh, well, first of all, they say, quote, let's not put it on paper. So don't put it on paper because then there's a paper trail and we all know we're kind of breaking the law here. And the other thing is, uh, we can have that whispered into Trump's ear whenever your client feels it's appropriate. And... Uh, the other guy basically saying, look, no way this won't be remembered if you give $2 million. Now, Donald Trump has been ripping Hillary Clinton, and he's been ripping Hillary Clinton for something that I think is rightful. Hey, you're taking all this money for the Clinton Foundation from foreign donors. And what, we're supposed to believe you're not going to turn around and do favors for them? We just got the news the other day from WikiLeaks. They took $12 million from the Moroccan king, and Bill and Chelsea went and gave a speech, and you think that's all that's going to happen? No, when Hillary Clinton is president, when she's back in power, it's, you scratch my back, now I'm going to scratch yours. What do you need? What kind of a subsidy do you need? What kind of a weapons deal do you need? I got you. Of course. And, it's not, and we've seen it. We've seen it with the Gulf states. We've seen it with Saudi Arabia. We've seen it with others. This is, that's the nature of the Clinton Foundation. That's not saying they don't do some good things, but it is pay-to-play corruption. Donald Trump's doing the same thing. He's doing it through his super PAC. He's saying, look, that could be whispered in Trump's ear. How is it going to be whispered in his ear if there's no coordination? There is coordination between su the super PAC and the campaign and him, which means that's a violation of campaign finance law. But again, blame the Supreme Court mostly because the Supreme Court's like, ha, huh, this isn't corruption, they're an independent group, and I'm sure they'll remain independent because they care about the law. <laughs> they say, not only is it not corruption, it's not even the appearance of corruption. Face meet palm. There aren't enough palms on the planet for that face. So they're either stupid and naive, or they kind of knew this was going to happen and they didn't care. Because they think, well, look, money is free speech, so you should be able to spend whatever you want on the election, and that's that. He said, what's the glaring problem with that philosophy? By, by those rules, whoever has the most money has a louder voice and more free speech than somebody who's poor. That's insanity. And it's not free speech. If money equals free speech, then anybody... So I should be able to go pay uh, to have sex. I could, why? I'm just, this isn't me actually literally paying for sex. This is just me giving money to this woman because I'm expressing, it's just speech. I'm just saying how much I like to have sex with women. That's it. That's it. I look, what, what, what? I'm, all I'm going to do is go buy some crystal meth. I'm not, I mean, come on, I'm not buying crystal meth. All I'm doing is I'm expressing with speech because money is speech. I'm giving money to this person to let them know, here is my speech, and I am saying crystal meth is awesome. It's not illegal to say crystal meth is awesome. That's perfectly legal because it's speech. But no, these guys, money equals uh, speech. Oh, only with the election. Only when you're a bribing politician and you have legalized bribery and corruption. By the way, guys, look, I'm against both of them. So don't get it twisted. There are going to be some people who bring this up, and they bring this up, to deflect from the same thing that Hillary Clinton is doing with the Clinton Foundation. That's what they're going to do. Oh, uh, yeah, dude, Trump's the problem, see? He's the one who's really corrupt. As if Hillary Clinton's not corrupt and she's not doing the same thing with the Clinton Foundation and she's not doing the same thing, forget foreign donors, with Wall Street donors, with American donors who are trying to corrupt her just as much. That's just as big of a problem. So she's doing that, he's doing it too. But don't deflect from either one of the problems. They both have this problem. They're both massively, deeply corrupt. And here, now we know. A Trump super PAC was going to get Trump to do favors for a Chinese billionaire who was going to give him $2 billion. So, $2 million, excuse me. So this idea of like, oh, Trump, yeah, yeah, he's the nationalist candidate, not the globalist candidate. And what he's going to do is make sure we bring jobs back from China. Let me ask you a question. He would bring them back from the person who donated $2 million to him from China? You can't possibly be that stupid to believe that. Nobody's that stupid. <laughs> yeah, I gave you $2 million, but now you're going to turn around and take ship all the jobs back. No, you're not. He's not going to do it. He's simply not going to do it. His own jobs have been shipped to China and Mexico and Turkey and Bangladesh. There's no way he, he would take these jobs away from somebody who's a foreign donor who would uh, give him money like this person. Now, thankfully, in this instance, it wasn't a real person, but have there been deals like this made with real people? Again, how stupid are you to think no? It's been proven that they're more than willing to do it and they're happy to do it. So, uh, yes, blame the candidates. Yes, let's get angry at the candidates. Let, yes, let's hold them accountable. But most importantly, we got to change this system of money in politics. Again, this was technically against the law, but they, they did something 
Or they could just so willy-nilly break it and it doesn't even occur to them because that's just the nature of the system functions of how the system functions once you allow super PACs. You know, so you understand what I'm saying there? Once you allow them to exist, all this other stuff naturally follows, regardless of which particulars are against the law and not against the law. They're going to coordinate even though that's against the law. They're going to take foreign money even though that's against the law. Because the way they did it is uh, you, you have the, the people... The lawyers representing the supposed client, they pass the money on to Trump's corrupt uh, buddy here working for the PAC. He takes it through his companies. He puts it into a 501c4 organization, and then the 501c4 organization puts it into the super PAC. So you see how it was? It, it went through a couple different routes, so it's hard to, okay, well, where's, where's it from? Well, you got to trace back. Eh, we lost the trail. We don't know where the fuck it went. That's the move you do when you're trying to get the money. It's laundering the money, basically. So you're trying to get it to you know, a place where it appears like, what do you mean? No, we just took $2 million more dollars for the pack. Oh, there's no weird th things attached to it. Look, it's weird no matter who the fuck is giving it because they're always going to want strings attached and they're always going to want favors. So it is corruption and it's corruption built into the system. You shouldn't even have super PACs. They shouldn't exist. Private money shouldn't be allowed in politics, period. It should be clean elections, which is public financing, which makes it so that the candidates can actually have an argument and a battle of ideas and philosophies. So if the people pay the politicians, who are the politicians going to represent? They're much more likely to represent the people. But if it's corporations and billionaires paying the politicians, who are they going to represent? They're going rep to represent the corporations and the billionaires, and in this case, the foreign donors. So none of this is okay. Stop excusing it, get the money out of the system, end the madness. We have two horrendously corrupt candidates, and it's terrible.